Hi guys, what's up? So I'm going to make a very cool new generator, but first let's look at something I've already made. So here's this generator I've made previously. There's a motor, brushes, and then trifiler coils on iron welding rods. And then there's these uh, ferrite bars and ferrite magnets as well. And you know, when it spins around, it generates. So to make sure I don't have to go edit this video, I have already made some videos before. Let's see. I think we're going to have to look at this one. Here you can see that the the ferrite rods were still longer. So I cut them off later. And I shouldn't have, but you'll see in the video what I'm talking about. So this generator, when it's turned on, doesn't generate a whole lot of power, but it does. And something you cannot see on this video is uh, I also tried shorting the coils out and uh, it would not slow down. So with that, that uh, was a success. Then I cut uh, the iron bars as you can see and uh, because wait, the rotation uh, now moves in a smaller circumference you can also see on the video that the output is become lower. Yes, and then there is this other video about shorting the coils out you can hear it go slower so then you could say there is this theory about uh, you know the coils being too close in proximity to the magnets or for example uh, these coils being too close to the iron bars right here something like that or maybe it's the angle you know be before it was like this and now they're uh, in a different angle you know uh, who knows what I don't I don't know but <laughs> it doesn't work anymore and you know um, I cannot just uh, put the iron rods back together because I kind of took them off <laughs> so we're going to build a new generator. I've already bought a couple of coils. You can see here I have uh, three kilograms of big fat copper, 0 0.8 millimeter wire. So these, and uh, yeah, you can see the coils, they were shipped broken and uh, I sent a message to the uh, supplier and they sent me back my money, but I still get to keep the coils. So at first I was going to make this generator out of this uh, big flywheel right here. It's supposed to be for a bicycle. It's very heavy. And then there would be, uh, you know, a, a coil here, for example. And then with these welding rods, I would go connect them and with magnets go back like a Cromery. Uh, have a circular loop here and then when it rotates, it breaks the loop. And then, you know, have two of these big fat coils on either side. So what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, what we have here in the museum. <laughs> One of those Bedini coils. I would make two of those. And with these three kilograms of copper, I would have uh, just about enough. A little look at a museum right here. Okay, so... This is not interesting enough for me. <laughs> no, it had to be more uh, exciting. So uh, let's turn the page. So I'm going to probably make something like this. Um, it's going to be awesome. And uh, so I'm going to explain you some stuff about it. So what you see here is the iron pull pieces of a rotor. So this part here until here and also it goes all the way over there and yeah I didn't have any more paper right here so it's going to be the same as this uh, that's going to be the rotor 
and it will be made with this uh, welding rod iron and then there is these uh, you know magnets maybe I have some around here so something like this but probably half of it you know it's going to be stacked like this and uh, you know some uh, bearings and then there's going to be this uh, tube as a shaft and it has to be a tube because then I can make a hole in it and there's going to be a motor inside it's going to be very inaccessible so it has to be made right at once and it has to be maintenance free and uh, so these coils you know the strands go through the tube and it's it's a non-moving part and the rotor is all moving part with the bearings and uh, the principle here is that uh, <clears throat> at first there is going to be a you know, magnetic connection to the motor coils and um, while it's moving inward to the motor coils uh, it is also uh, pulling it in with the, with the coils because it's in attraction mode so that's attraction from the iron and also from the motor coils so it's uh, double attraction sort of and then it uh, will be you know flipped out of the motor coil and the magnet will now conduct into the other direction towards the generator side at first I had the motor coils on the outside and the generator on the inside but I thought that's not smart because you have a sort of low back EMF on this side because of the circumference is smaller so then the motor coils will not be opposed as much in this configuration and you have a much higher back EMF on this side because the circumference is much bigger so what we have here is a sort of uh, flipping magnet it flips towards the motor on the inside pulls everything inward so you have a center petal sort of force and then it smacks back into the generator side and these will be in uh, two phases you can see here I've drawn it into the motor phase right here just about when the motor is going to stop because it's in attraction it will attract it in like that then let loose and it will slap back and because it's rotating it will start to attract and to the generator and then um, you know you start thinking where would you put these coils for generating the power so you can already see I have drawn an example of how these coils could be on the rotor and these would uh, be eight coils right here because uh, you know you have an upper and a lower half of the generator motor so eight coils right here that's a possibility and then there is a possibility of making a coil on the stator of the generator on the pole pieces you know itself right here but you could also make coils all the way around um, you know like this because there's going to be for example a north facing magnet in here it's going to be north over here we have no uh, generator pole uh, it's not attracted here because there's only four of these on the rotor so it's going to be north here and sort of magnetic ground here so there's a potential and eventually you start thinking where else can we put these uh, you know coils so if you have them right here you're going to have this standard sort of cromery like waveform it's going to be attracted it's turning the ball piece north and then it's uh, uh, has a little dip because you know it's already in this attraction and then it's going to flip back out of the ball piece and it will still remain the same same waveform so it's going to be repelling in both cases whenever it's moving inwards and it's moving outwards still will be repelling unlike uh, the non-iron coils 
So what you see here, there is a north potential here, north, and then there is a ground and a ground potential here. So these will be north and south on this side, north on this side, south on that side. When this is north, this will be south. So south going in here. So we have a south on this side, north or magnetic zero on this side and south and magnetic zero on that side. So we can generate from that. So when we have a south and a north here, we can generate in between as well. So we could put a coil in between those. And then there's this like uh, other coil inside of the iron right here and inside of the iron right there. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it should work according to this standard dynamo generator principle. So in a standard alternator, you have these coils wrapped around in a circle. And then there's the stator teeth that makes sure that the flux is going into the right direction of the coil. So it'd be north here going into the upper part and south going into the lower part. When it's moving, it will change the direction. The same idea will apply here. However, I made a gap here so we can wind coils around everywhere. And this will be mostly north. So the coil all the way into the north will not generate anything because it's all north everywhere. And the coil in the south area will not generate anything because it's all south everywhere. But I think because we are connecting them together, it's like um, having a coil which is fully uh, from top to bottom, but we left out the coil in the middle. So all we have to do is connect a wire from this side to that side and then take the leads and put it onto a load. Um, interesting idea. So in this generator you can see I've also made these uh, coils in the inside and it will be a very big circle so it will be all the way around this big fat coil and it will have induction from four of the pole pieces simultaneously so that will be very interesting to see so yeah <clears throat> now we've talked about the motor the switching magnet configuration of the rotor and uh, the generator with all of its, uh, you know, coil positions and generating possibilities. And uh, yeah, kind of the sort of we also talked about the torque. It will be a center pedal, you know, force going inwards while it's uh, in the motor action. And it will slap back into a centrifugal uh, force when it's going into the generator section and let's get back to this generator so I've cut the pole pieces and my idea is because they were longer they had a chance to you know the coils had the chance to oppose the flux from the from the you know magnets and uh, there is iron so there will be a magnetic zero spot in the iron because you know it's north here and there is north here and it's going to oppose and there will be no attraction of the iron at some point so that's why in this design i left a piece of iron on this side and the piece of iron on that side so that there can be a non-attracting piece of uh, you know iron here so so when you do nothing it's going to cog a lot and when you generate it's going to oppose and then the attraction is cancelled out that's uh, what I'm hoping to achieve right here so I know that's a lot that's a big story it's going to take a long time to make this generator I also have a job and then I have other hobbies and stuff and, you know, my life. <laughs> so it's not going to be done tomorrow, but this is go going to be something I'm, I'm going to work on this year. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.